Hello and welcome my triple X milk jugs. How you doing today? It's Chris here and look at the map. It's wonderful. It's cropland right here, man. We've got some scarecrows over here. We've got uh, this tiny little plot of land, man. I feel like I'm just playing Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley or something where you start off with just this little tiny bit of land right here and they're like, make the crops happen, Chris. Just make the crops happen somehow. And uh, admittedly, it is it is kind of difficult. So we're going to be playing this thing on alternate balloon rounds right here, guys. Which means, yeah, there's going to be a lot of crap coming out against us. Lots of camo balloons coming in here. But I'm going to be using my extra monkey knowledge. So it's going to make things just a little bit easier for me. So the first thing I do is, of course, I get my triple dart dart monkey right here. And the nice thing about using the monkey knowledge is you can indeed afford a triple dart dart monkey right here with the camo detection and still afford the sniper for round 10. Just blows my mind, baby, that that is possible. Now, this is a really interesting map. I actually, I really enjoy it, uh, to be honest. Now, I actually, I was like, oh, crap. Is the sniper really this bad? Like, uh, what? Like, how am I supposed to use this guy in any real reasonable way over here. I mean, it's going to be, like, nearly impossible. Like, is there anything else that I can use for camo lead popping power early on in the game? Or at least lead popping power early on in the game, and I'm just like... I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. I don't think I can make it. So, uh, instead, I'm just trying to find a good spot over here, and I find this pretty decent spot right here. You can actually reach over to the left side over here. You can still reach most of the bottom of the map, and then you still get, like, a little tiny sliver. Just a baby sliver right there of the right side as well. Which, to me, I mean, of course, you're limiting the sniper's ability to actually do things, but it's sort of acting like a regular tower in the first place, so it's still not bad. Now, also, on top of this video here, guys, I've got a story for you. Uh, it's actually kind of funny because I didn't plan this out. It just happened to happen. Um, I went to a corn maze yesterday. Like I said, didn't plan for this to happen at all. Um, uh, it, it's funny because um, I actually recorded this video a long time ago. Believe it or not, man, I recorded this video a long time ago. I'm not doing it live, I know. You can make fun of me, you can be mad at me, you can be mean to me, whatever. I didn't do it live. For some reason, about uh, about a month ago, actually, I don't know, I don't remember why, but I, I didn't commentate any of my videos. I think I was getting sick, or my throat was hurting, or whatever. So I just recorded. I just started recording a bunch of crap all over the place. And I was just hoping that eventually I would come back and commentate these things. And then I forgot about them. <laughs> I forgot about it, so I've got like three or four more videos that I have to make for you guys. Hopefully you're going to enjoy it nonetheless, though. So, uh, what do we got going on right now? Well, um, what you got to realize about this this map is that you can chop things down. Um, at any point, if you feel like it, you can chop down any of these corn thingamabobs. It's going to make your sniper more powerful, it's going to give you more range, it can make, it give you a lot of space over here. But the weird thing is you really don't need a ton of space on this map. Um, with like three, four, five, six strong towers, you can make pretty much everything happen. And then if you get something that flies, like a heli pilot or monkey or something, you can just fly over the crops anyways and crop dust the crap out of them. Now, do you guys know what, what crop dusting is? There's, there's two types of crop dusting. The first type is when you fly over crops and you spray poison and stuff on them, and then you can either... Uh, protect the plants from insects, or protect them from weeds, or, or kill all the weeds, basically, or whatever. But the second type of crop dusting is a little bit more on the gross side. And I'll admit that I've done it before. Um, you know, I can get I can get some pretty uh, I can get pretty dust delicious, let's say. All right. Uh, the second type of crop dusting is when you are like, at a store or something. All right, and all of a sudden you just you got the gas. All right. So what do you, what do you do? Well, you, you let loose. But then if you guys don't know, man, I mean, it's not just like, and then it's there. Like, it's gaseous. So this thing is trailing behind you for who knows how long, man. It depends on how on how smelly it is and how terrible it is. But you can make those farts last the entire, the entirety of the, uh, uh, the aisle or whatever. And then nobody knows where it came from. It could have been any one of the people in the aisle. Unless you're the only person in the aisle. Then they just know it's you. And they're knowing you're a jerk over there. But yes, I have done it before. Uh, I'll admit it. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't hold them in. I just. I let them go, man. Whenever I need to. I'm not gonna be one of those people where I find out that I'm gonna get uh, uh, colon cancer or something for holding my farts too much. No, I'm not gonna let it happen. Though there should be a study on that. If they don't have a study on that, there definitely should be. So far here, guys. All right. Anyways, moving on. Um, 
we basically got a, a decent setup over here. As you guys know, with alternate blue rounds, the early part of the game is actually the most difficult part. Once you get past round 40 or 50, things actually get pretty easy. Um, I, I guess probably the hardest part of alternate blue rounds in its entirety, I would say, has got to be round 40. And the early rounds suck too, but they're like they're not impossible. You know, getting your dart monkey up is like, all right, this sucks. I didn't really want to get this guy, but it happens. It works. It's magical. But round 40 is not only doubling the health of the moa, but doubling the health of all the balloons inside as well, or at least the ceramic layer inside as well. So uh, you, you can't. You basically have to have two times as much normal pop, or at least to pop this moa for round 40, and that's just crazy to have happen. So if you're lucky, you can use a ninja and a sniper and a dart monkey or whatever, and like hopefully you could stop these guys. But if you really, really need to go to town on these things, you need to use a heli pilot. So uh, another thing that I actually I really enjoy, believe it or not, is actually super monkeys. I do. If you can get a super monkey in a good spot over here, if you can alchemize him especially, he becomes surprisingly powerful. So I was just trying to like pick out what position I wanted to go for my super monkey over here, and I felt like this was... I don't know, I was just like, I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. Should I put him here or here, or what do I want to do, man? And I kind of wanted to get the most MOA popping power out of him. So I thought, alright, this is probably the best position for him, down on the bottom here. We get a pretty good amount of uh, area where I can do stuff over here. And then I'm going to add in some Alchemist Brew over here on these guys. And see, I'm not going to be able to afford Stronger Stimulant, but at least I've got this third tier over here. So we really have to micro well, though, with our uh, uh, Gwendolyn's uh, thingamabob over here. So Super Monkey and Ninja together, will it be enough to stop this guy? It's going to be close, but we do. We take him down, baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's what I'm talking about. And now we can stronger stimulize not only the Super Monkey, but also our Ninja. Now, if you guys don't know, this is why the game can be ridiculous with Alchemist. It doesn't work forever, but you understand that we're getting nine times the damage with my Alchemist on my Super Monkey here. So, it doesn't work out perfectly against both less Bloods. We're not doing nine times as much damage. But overall, against all of the Bloods, we do nine times as much damage. Um, it, uh, it, maybe damage isn't the right word. Popping power, I guess is probably the best word there. Nine times as much popping power. So, you can see, Ceramics, normally with the Super Monkey, would be like, oh, this is kind of difficult. But no, every single balloon that walks in, Super Monkey's annihilated them. It's ridiculous. So, uh, as you power them up, though, as you get Laser Vision and Plasma, it doesn't do quite as much as nine times. It does close to, like, seven, six, or five, or whatever. But, um... Or maybe even like three. I don't, I don't remember. As you get stronger and stronger, it gets closer and closer to two times damage, basically. That's what I figured out. The stronger the tower, the closer they do to about two times damage with the Alchemist. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my corn maze experience. Now, I've never, ever, ever been to a corn maze, ever in my entire life. My family has never taken me to a corn maze. I haven't been upset about never going to a corn maze, though. I wasn't just like... Mommy, Daddy, please take me to a corn maze. I need it now. No, I wasn't really like that. Um, but at the same time, I, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like I, I should have done that at some point when I was a child. You know, like that's just something you do. And when we went there, of course, who's there? A bajillion children, all over the place. There's kids everywhere. And this place was actually pretty freaking sweet. So it was about an hour and a half from my house. So it was a it was a bit of a trek. And the only reason we went is because Amanda uh, Amanda's friend and her husband they always uh, they go every year. So Amanda was like they asked if Amanda wanted to come this year, and Amanda's like sure. And then I'm just like okay, I'll go as well. And then bloop, there, the rest is history, man. So we get there. It's like it's a little pricey. I mean, it's like thirty bucks to get in for two people. I'm like okay, it's a little bit expensive here. It's not a huge deal, but. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm like, okay, for just a corn maze, well, whatever. I guess we'll deal with it. Then I get inside, I'm actually, I'm fairly impressed with all the things that are there. And a lot of it's stupid things, you know, that you wouldn't think are all that important or, or amazing or anything like that. But for like, uh, for like, even from my point of view, like, I, like, I kind of want to do it, you know? And even from a kid's point of view, like, holy crap, dude, they want to do everything there. Uh, there was like little rolly, uh... There was a giant slide. That was one of the main things. Oh, that's a funny story, man. I'll tell you guys about the slide in just a second here. But there was, there was like um, this giant bouncy 
I don't even want to call it a trampoline, but it was just like a giant bouncy rubber thing that you could jump on. Like, it, had, it was like filled with air. It was so goofy, but I'm like, I really want to go on it. Like, even as an adult, man, I'm just like, I, I gotta do it. But I didn't. There's too many kids on it. I would feel so weird. And not only just like kids, like they were like seven years old or eight years old. If I was just this random guy, you know, 20, uh, 20 something years old who's just like, I'm gonna jump on this thing. Rah, 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 rah. And, like knock some kids over or something. Oh my god, that would be terrible. So luckily, that didn't happen. Um, but we went down the slide. So the slide was, uh, I don't know, maybe. It wasn't really like a real slide. It was, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, like, uh, uh. It wasn't like a tarp or anything like that. <sighs> it's very difficult to explain exactly what this thing was, but it was, it was about. 40 feet high or something like that. It was at like a 45 degree angle, maybe a little less than a 45 degree angle. So you're, you, you do go down it pretty fast. And Amanda, we grabbed this like burlap sack or whatever, and the burlap sack is like very slippery, so you're supposed to like help slide down on this thing. So me and Amanda get together, and we're gonna decide to go down the slide together. So we go down the slide, and uh, of course, I go faster than her, and she's just like trailing behind because she's, I don't know, I just like lay down. I'm just like, let's go, like water slide up. Bloop. And she, I don't know, I don't even know what happened, but somehow I got in front of her, and we, I, we like held on to each other, and we started doing like a full 360 down this slide, right? So, uh, <laughs> it's, it's getting pretty insane, man. Uh, and we're going pretty fast, like I said, it's like 40 feet high or something like that. We're getting pretty fast down there, and I'm like, I, the one thing they said is don't grab onto the sides of the slide, because the side of the slide will be sharp. And I'm like, okay, well, I definitely can't do that. So, there's basically, you can't control anything, it's just go down the slide. Anyways, Amanda left her purse open on accident. Uh, she didn't think we were going to need to, you know, watch out for this, but we're doing full 360s, and her purse just spills all the things out on the slide, and we're like, oh my god. So, uh, the dog treats fell out, all the, fell out all over the place. Just on the slide. And then her, uh, uh, phone fell out as well. And luckily, somebody was like, hey, look, your phone fell out. And like, because I don't think we would have even noticed if, her, if that happened. Maybe somebody would have found it or something like that. But luckily... Uh, we made it out alive. All right, guys, we made it. That's the number one thing here. We made it out alive. Uh, we went down the slide, and uh, I'm glad that I did it, though. And it was a fun time overall. So what I'm doing right now is I've got this kind of the standard play here, guys. The three, the magic monkeys. If you're using magic monkeys, you're gonna be a happy person. The wizard, the ninja, the super monkey, and then pop down the alchemist. Combine all those guys together, and you've got a perfect team. Uh, they really are very, very powerful. And of course, you can add other towers in here as well. You can go for Spectre or Druids or whatever. But uh, I, honestly, I believe at this point in the game, I can defend everything without even building anything else. So, yeah. Anyways, on to the Corn Maze. Let's talk about the Corn Maze really quick. So, uh, the Corn Maze was uh, actually... Uh, they actually wrote out, like, the 200th anniversary of, of Illinois. Uh, I do live in Illinois, by the way, in case you're curious, man. So, uh, uh, there was a bunch of different things. There was, like, I don't even know, man. They, like, they like made Ferris wheels, and uh, they literally put, like, 200th. There was Abraham Lincoln and his face in there and stuff. And there was, uh, uh, like, a little wagon and stuff. Like, they made all of this in the corn, which was pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. There was bridges and stuff. I was like, this is cool. You know, I didn't think that they made this kind of thing. Or, like, this fancy. Like, I figured it was going to be a corn maze. Like, literally, like, a, when I say a maze, I'm thinking, like, uh, the entire time you just do, like, weirdo, I don't know, like, when you think of a maze, like, roller coaster tycoon style maze, you know? It's just straight lines with turns, and eventually, hopefully, you find your way out. Luckily, because it was so gigantic, there was, like, I think there was, like, 12 miles of trails inside of the entire thing. But, of course, you don't do all 12 miles unless you walk through every single ounce of the maze. So, instead, what we did was we, there's, like, 24 different, um, I don't know, was, uh, checkpoints that you have to come do, and you have to, like, just hole punch the thing. So that was our goal. As first, we did the the, the like little finger thing. There was like five different uh, colors that you could put your finger in for these little things, and you kind of get a little uh, fortune at the end of it. And uh, that was kind of exciting, actually. I kind of enjoyed that. Uh, but then finally getting in and going, I realized that mazes, even following a map, can be pretty difficult. Uh, you know, I got the hang of it by the end of it and whatnot, but overall, it was, it was pretty difficult, I'd say. Um... 
But I, I had fun. I did. Overall, overall, I had fun. I got all 24... We got all 24 uh, thingamabobs, and we got a certificate saying that we completed it. So now I can officially say that not only, not only did I do a corn maze, but I found all different 24 checkpoints throughout the entirety of the maze. Um, some people, I guess, if you want to, you can kind of just wander around the maze as much as you want and just have fun, you know, and uh, whatever. Personally, though, I, that's not, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to be lost that much, because honestly, I don't think you'd be, like, for sure, like, lost, lost, where you'd never be able to find your way out. Uh, you can always walk through the corn back if you want to. But I do feel like it could be a little bit on the crazy side. Like, uh, you might be stuck in there for an hour or something like that, just kind of wandering, and you just don't know when you're going to make it out. So if you like the, the fear of it or the scariness of it, I mean, that I mean, you could totally do that if you wanted to. So anyways, we're getting to the end over here, guys. Uh, corn could be fun. Highly recommend if you guys want to go to a corn maze. You know, it's not too late in the year. Uh, they're still going, so have some fun out there. And, uh, yeah. And also, oh, I want you guys to watch a pig race. So I thought that was really cool as well. I saw a pig race when I was really, really young. I don't even know, man. Like, se seven years old or something like that. I barely remembered it. And this time around, they had another pig race. And I was just kind of excited to see the pigs. And they're, they're pretty fast, you know? It's kind of exciting. They kind of pinned up, like, uh, uh, like the, they had, like, a bear's pig, a, a cub's pig, and a black hawk's pig, and a couple other things over there. It was kind of fun, you know? So I, I had a good time overall. I do feel like it was worth the $29. Believe it or not, even though I wanted to do even more, there's more things to do, you know? And then we got some delicious apple cider donuts, dude. Oh, baby. You gotta get some apple cider donuts, dude. They are delish. Man, oh, man, if you've never tried one of those things, I've never tried one until a couple of years ago when Amanda made me come, go to one of these fall festival things. And, dude, they, they really are one of the most delicious things in the entire world. So I decided to kind of pop in here an extra tax shooter. And I just want to see how powerful this thing was going to be. Sadly, everybody else is just too powerful, and we're not even getting to the tax. We're not even close to getting to the tax over here. The Super Monkey is just annihilating everything. Super Monkey Wizard combo, dude. Wizard, great against the, the Moab class balloons. And then Super Monkey, great against cleaning up the balloons inside. So even against a oh my God right here, doesn't even get anywhere. And then I pop into Druid as well, just kind of for fun. Just to see what he's going to do. See what's going to happen here. And I say screw it, and I pop in another Alchemist. I don't know why, just cause, I got the monies for him, just super power these guys up, plus look at all the freaking acid on the screen right now, dude, let's acid these balloons. Alright, so that's it, man, corn maze was, was fun, I had a good time, uh, in both situations. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me, subscribe if you haven't, please, 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 subscribe, hit the little notification button so you can get notified every single time you see one of my videos, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.